All right, we are comparing the Bushnell X650 Equinox to the AGM ASP Micro TM160 Thermal. This is a digital night vision device. It relies heavily on IR. It can be used during the day in full color or at night with the IR option here. And this is a thermal. It is a very, very bottom of the barrel budget thermal. It's uh, really cheap. Now, both of these work. Um, to the extent of how well they work, we'll see in the video. Now, if you are interested in digital night vision, um, I've got this one here from uh, Get Outdoors. Uh, it's an eBay store. The dudes are super cool, super nice. And if the little IR light that's built into it here doesn't work for you, you can attach a bigger IR light right here on this Picatinny rail. Uh, for the money, this is a good, good little basic budget night vision device. Now, the AGM... Uh, the ASP Micro TM160, for the money, it is it is outstanding. AGM has some good stuff. And either one of these will allow you to get out and see at night, see things that you wouldn't normally see, wildlife, uh, stuff sneaking around your place. But we are going to watch some videos from both of these and just some footage let you decide this is still considerably higher than this but you can make up your mind if the price difference is worth it so here's the bushnell x650 um, trying to look at some cows we checked them out with the thermal and uh they're just way out of range the cows would be right up here but can't see them with this. It's doing a decent job. It's getting out about 100, maybe a little over 100 yards. Uh, but it just doesn't have the range or the visual clarity of the thermal. Here we are with the thermal. Same image, same place. There's the cows up there on the hill. Now, the lines in this video are just from my camera looking at my laptop. Uh, there's no lines in the actual video uh, from the thermal or the image or anything like that. But you can just see way, you've got so much more range. And uh, we're going to switch the palette, color palettes up here. There's the cows. They're getting close to 300 yards up there. But anyway, that's the same image with the AGM uh, 160 Micro. And here we are. Uh, there's some barns and outbuildings out here. Uh, those lights that you see are way over on the highway. The little X650 Bushnell just doesn't reach out far enough. There's some outbuildings out there about 600 yards. Uh, I know that because I ranged them with my ATN uh, Binox. And now that's a really good ways over there. It's light emitting from a house over on the highway. But out here in the dark, there's some barns and outbuildings, which you'll be able to see here in a second when I use the thermal. And there's the barns I was telling you about. They're about 600 yards. Again, just because I've ranged them before. But they were completely non-existent with the bushnell now i will say with the bushnell uh it was picking up the lights back yonder way over here on the highway um just because it does pick up light really well and there we're going through the different color palettes of it and we'll go over here um there's those woods though those were out of the range of the bushnell x652 the little agm micro it is a cheap thermal but it does a really good job um, if somebody's just wanting to get into it, it it's a really good option to just get into it if you're an outdoorsman you hunt if you just want to see critters around your house uh, put in your get home bag just 
it, it's affordable enough. And again, every now and then you'll see some lines pop up. Those are not in the device itself. That's just the depiction of me videoing my screen on my little laptop here. But that is the Barnes. We're going to go on to one more scene. Now, this is Barnes on farther down the road. This is about 135 yards out there, 150 yards. It's doing a pretty good job. This is the X650. Um, it's a five times magnification, so, of course, everything is pulled in, zoomed in a little bit more. But that this here is actually pretty impressive, I thought. Uh, if you wanted to check out what's going on around your outbuildings for, you know, critters or something. But that's about 135 yards here, 150, somewhere around in there. And there, that's clear enough. You could see something walking around out there. If you had cattle or chickens or sheep or something and was looking out for coyotes. Honestly, for the money, the little Bushnell X650 is a de decent digital night vision, uh, but it's just not great. And without the IR, it doesn't do much at all. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this same scenery with the thermal real quick. And here we are with the AGM Micro 160. Uh, same buildings everything like that. You'll notice the field of view is a lot wider because you don't have that five times magnification pulling everything in. But it's just, if there was anything out there moving around, you could see it with this, no problem. But that's the same thing. It's about 150 yards out there. I zoomed in a little bit. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I'll go through the different color palettes here. It's pretty neat, you know, how the they pick up such minute differences in the temperature changes that it just makes a really good picture. And again, this is a 160. This isn't a 256, a 384, or a 640, or anything like that. This is a very, very budget thermal monocular. But anyway, that's it. And I don't know... Um, the Bushnell X650 is cheaper, but the, even the very budget-minded uh, 160 Micro from AGM, it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow you to see a lot more at night. Both of these optics also work during the day uh, because the Bushnell X650 is a digital camera, and of course thermal, it doesn't matter, day, night, whatever. It just works off heat signatures. Anyway, back to the video. All right, that's the end of the video. Uh, you have to decide for yourself which one you think would fit your needs more. Personally, I love messing with them both. And I don't know. This one's cheaper. It is. But this one just offers a lot more range. And I think just visual clarity of what's going on in your surroundings. You'll have to decide. I like both of them. Thanks for watching.